using it a little different today? I mean, what went into maybe a little change, I guess you could say, in the strategy? Uh, I feel like uh, I was getting some late movement, late mm -hmm. cut action. TC had a little, uh, some good ride on it, so we just ran with that. You ever felt this locked in in your career? I know there were some stretches you had in Philly, I believe in 22, uh, but I mean, have you ever felt this dialed in? No, I think that's the best that I felt for sure. Um, I mean, I don't think my arms felt that good in a really long time, so got a lot of recovery to do, that's for sure. Kelly, yeah, what's different overall from, say, the first couple of innings of the year to what we've seen over here over the last few starts? Just simplifying things. Uh, kind of shied away of the pitcher that got me to the big leagues in the first place, so just try to you know go back to that, and so far it's been doing really well for me. Joey had said you were pacing a lot at times during the game and in the dugout, and he knows that's your mentality, but was that part of just staying locked in, or did you feel extra antsy to get back out there because you were doing so well? Uh, yeah, I tend to normally do that, but mm -hmm. tonight was different for me. I was definitely locked in and just, you know, try to go out there and put up zeros for the boys. What do you feel like is the benefit of being able to simplify things and, you know, just follow that? Um, I mean, I tend to get a little mental sometimes, so got a good group of guys around here, good coaching staff that, you know, keep me sane when stuff, you know, hits the fan. So just been trying to roll with that. Really, you talked in spring training about how you always felt your fastball was your best pitch. I think you showed that today. What, in your eyes, what makes that pitch so good for you? Uh, I think it's my extension for sure. Uh, just a funky delivery with a lot of extension, and then obviously the harder I throw, it tends to be a little bit better for me. So Velo was up tonight, so we got some good, uh, good weak contact, some punchies, and it's really good night. You guys made yeah. whiffs with that pitch as, as Jared did yesterday too. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I tell everyone, I mean, I think Jared uh, going and then me following him, I think it's a, you know, guy goes out there, speeds him up, and I come in and slow him down. So I feel like we got a little good thing going right now. You've said a couple of times now since you've gone on this little streak, if you turn back into the picture, you brought mm -hmm. up here. Why did you change the What happened there? Uh, you know, I just shied away of uh, the fastball a little bit. I feel like uh, I was getting kind of hit around a little too much, and started mixing in some more change-ups and off-speed and then just wasn't really going my way. So we scratched the change-up and we've just been riding off the fastball for right now. Bailey, you guys are getting to learn Joey. What stood out to you about him behind the plate? Uh, he's got all the confidence in the world. So uh, there's a reason why I don't shake Joey. I think uh, Gary knew that was coming. So that's on me. I'm going to have to get that guy a beer later. So, but he called a great game and he's been doing really well for us.